trading form agar kita lend kita lend kita puts chapter number yesterday what was discussed yesterday hari krishna hari krishna what was discussed yesterday that consciousness in next paragraph consciousness mehr bro was discussing and he discussed half of it uh living body and dead matter were complete consciousness what is it he was discussing and he uh, discussed the, till this uh, you cannot uh, like um, he was discussing this and in the middle the time got over so we should i start reading uh, i said you can uh, start from consciousness uh, what is it uh Hi, yes, sir. This Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 2.17. No, Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Namaste, Sara Sati Deve, Kauda Bani Krishna. Nirvishesha Shona Vadi Pacha Krishna Krishna Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Vedanta Shri Vasadi Kauda Bhakta Vinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Uh, reading from Gita, Gita, chapter 5, section 2, part 2. Consciousness, what is it? Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 2.17, Avinashi tat vidhi yena sarvam idam tatam, vinasham avyas kyasya na kashchit kartu marhati. That which pervades the entire body you should know to be indestructible. No one is able to destroy that imperishable soul. Here Lord Krishna asserts, that the presence of the soul in the body is known by the spread of consciousness throughout it so how do we know the presence of soul so we know its presence by the spread of consciousness throughout the body as a person i am conscious of my own body this consciousness tells me to search for the souls that is the soul me okay we were discussing about uh, the souls So, what is the source of consciousness? So, no amount of uh, um, uh, so we were discussing that how life is uh, existing. If 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 this were just a random combination, this would not have been stable. But that stability is there. I mean, stability means existence is there, or the persistence is there because uh, there must be some factor which is. Uh, which is causing this phenomenon which is causing this observation that we are uh, sustained we are sustaining our lives we are sustaining in this state which is which we call as living state so what is that so the here it is said that this is because of the soul the 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 uh, uh, the entity called soul which is keeping everything together like we gave example that how if we see in the on the carom board If things are moving together then this must be because of some entity maybe electric force magnetic force or something which is binding it together so that uh, that that uh, factor is soul we immediately recognize an external threat or aggression on any part of our body so we uh, want to maintain this state which we call as living state right if it were just random It, it would just evolve and go into some non-living state, and then maybe again come back to living state, again go to non-living state. So why, why this distinction? Why this living state is so special? So that we want to preserve it. We want, we immediately recognize any external threat or aggression on any part of our body. For example, even if a tiny thorn pricks our little toe, it hurts. We don't want our toe to be pricked. This is because consciousness as a unitary whole pervades the entire body thus i experience the unity of perception about the phenomenal world around me dr krishna says that the source of this consciousness is imperishable so we discussed uh, so here uh, this is said about the soul and now krishna says that the source of this consciousness which means the spirit soul is imperishable again uh, avinashi tadvid avinashi means no vinasha you cannot destroy it 
we cannot destroy the soul. No one is able to destroy that imperishable soul. So, if you meditate more on yourself, you can always feel that you are a conscious being. We can, we can see that we are a conscious being. I'm conscious of so many. So you are conscious of so many things around you. So what is the meaning of conscious being? That we are. What do you mean when we say conscious of my body? So okay, that's what is being explained here. You are conscious of so many things around you. You are conscious of your bank balance, your relationship with near and dear ones, your life and death situations, your ambitions, and so forth. But why are you not conscious of your conscious self? But you are not conscious of your conscious self. Why? Lord Krishna says, "Amai vamsho jiva loke jivbhuta sanatana." Manashashtani Indriyani Prasitirstani Karshati The living entities in this material world uh, in, in this conditioned world co conditioned world are my fragment, eternal fragmental parts due to conditioned life they are struggling very hard with the six senses which include the mind it, we are all parts and parcels of Krishna this spirit soul is eternal part and parcel of Krishna. Mm. Just like my hand is my part, so my hand does everything what I want it to do and my hand uh, becomes happy by serving me, right? If my hand is connected to me, serving me, hand becomes happy. But if it is disconnected, then it will, be, it will not survive. Similarly, we are, uh, uh, if we are connected with Krishna, we serve Krishna, we stay happy and if as soon as we turn away from Krishna or uh, disconnect ourselves from Krishna, then then what is the state? That we are struggling very hard with the six senses which include the mind. We become uh, very, life becomes very miserable and, and we keep struggling for no reason. Means, uh, like if we see in material life, I have to struggle so much uh, to uh, even to survive. There's so much struggle is there. Uh, we are fighting with each other to get some more money, to get some more uh, resources and uh, so this is what is uh, a struggle for existence. We struggle very hard, struggle with the six senses and the mind. From time immemorial, our way of life is soaked in deep ignorance, association with matter. So we have been in uh, we have been associated with matter and we have been in ignorance for time in memory. Like so many births we have been conditioned, we have been doing this thing, uh, turning away from Krishna and just trying to gratify the senses and mind will always say this is good, this is bad and I uh, keep following the mind and mind is always fickle. We have considered our body and bodily extensions to be real. Thus we have been subjected to pain and pleasure as well as birth and death. So we, we consider our body and bodily extension to be real and we therefore uh, experience pain and pleasure and birth and death. Birth and death is also because of body because uh, if I think my body is very important and uh, suddenly I have to lose it, it becomes very painful. That, that is called death and birth means getting a new body. This is the ultimate problem of life which will be solved if we start meditating on our natural self that is divine. That divine self is a part and parcel of Lord Krishna. It is a mere instrument of Lord Krishna. Yeah. So we have been subjected to pains and pleasures as well as birth and death and this is the ultimate problem of life. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Janma Mrityu Jara Vyadi Dukha Dosha Nudarshanam is the, uh, an intelligent person, a symptom of knowledge is that we are able to recognize uh, the real problems are uh, that I have to again keep changing bodies. Uh, today I uh, put so much of effort to build something and the next moment it is lost and I have to start from zero again. I have to again build the whole thing. So this is very uh, frustrating. This becomes very uh, unpleasurable. That is why Krishna says, this is the ultimate problem that uh, we are uh, uh, getting frustrated again and again. 
so how to come out of this frustration that uh, this is possible by uh, if you start meditating on the natural self that is divine that is divine self is a part and parcel of Lord Krishna and is a mere instrument of Lord Krishna that my Sri Mahaprabhu says Jeevara Swarupa Nitya Krishna Das Krishna Ratastha Shakti Bheda Bheda Prakash that we are part and parcel of Krishna and uh, we are his marginal potency and uh, there are questions why do I not see myself anybody would like to answer this question why do I not see myself answer that I don't know who am I then how will I be able to see self so uh, this question is being asked here why are we not conscious of our conscious self? The answer is given by Krishna that uh, we have been conditioned in this material world life after life for so many lifetimes. So from time immemorial our way of life is soaked in ignorance. So yes we are soaked in ignorance as uh, uh, Archit Prabhu says that we do not know who we are. This is means, means ignorance and this ignorance is because of association with matter. The more I associate with uh, my senses, my sense pleasures, then I will be more and more forgetful of my real position that I am beyond these sense perceptions. I am uh, independent of these. I am, uh, uh, I am different from my sense perceptions. I am different from my senses. I am different from the objects of senses. And uh, this um, sense perception, this is... Uh, I, and, and I just uh, foolishly I associate pain and pleasure with sense perceptions. So the same sense perception could be pain uh, in one case and pleasure for some other case. For example, um, we saw how Lord Ram, when he went to the forest, uh, so he perceived, okay, going to forest is very pleasurable. Why pleasurable? Because I will be associating with nice sadhus there. I will be associating with uh, nature and there will be beautiful uh, valleys in which I will be dwelling. And in this way, he was uh, focusing on the uh, pleasures. But others were saying, oh, how Lord Ram will live there. He will have to live in, sleep on the floor and eat uh, just fruits and roots. And uh, there will be no support and there will be um, wild animals all around. How will Lord Ram live there? So they were, uh, for they were considering it as a painful experience. But Lord Ram is considering it as a pleasurable experience. So this is, uh, this is this is what uh, that pains and pleasures are uh, 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 sense perceptions. And if we associate more with sense perceptions, then we become more and more conditioned. Oh, this is pain. This is pleasure. And I always keep working hard to avoid pains and to accrue pleasures but if I just recognize I'm different from this and I just uh, have to withdraw myself and uh, rather focus on my real problem which is uh, that I do not know who is Krishna, who am I, what is my relationship with him then definitely I will become uh, I will become uh, conscious of my real self. Are we still conscious when we are given anesthesia? Why do we ex what do we experience in coma or anesthesia? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what do we experience there. Zipa is asking, we are always running after material things, so we don't have time for ourselves. Yes. Basically, where am I putting my efforts? If I am putting my efforts to get sense pleasures, sense pleasures, then 
then I won't have time for myself because also I don't have any motivation to know myself because I am so much uh, engrossed in sense pleasures. Either I am uh, hankering for pleasures or I am lamenting for the pain which I have experienced. So lamentation and hankering will not stop. Uh, Next question is, we have our organs spread throughout different locations in the body. Then how is our each experience a unitary whole? For example, I do not see I experience color in this part of the brain and shape in the other. Rather, the whole image as a unit. Rather, I experience the whole image as a unit. Why is it so? What's the answer? So the text is there in front of you. You can read the text and uh, see if you can find the answer. Yeah, so so right here, this is because consciousness as a unitary whole pervades the entire body. Consciousness as a unitary whole pervades the entire body. Thus, I experience the unity of perception about the phenomenal world around me. Yeah. So next is uh, the analogy between the car and the body. Uh, long one. Maybe we can stop here uh, because it's almost 7:50, and uh, we can discuss uh, continue our discussion tomorrow, right? So thank you very much, and uh, I hope you are having a good time um, at home, and you are chanting daily. Um, and uh, you are also watching the videos for the previous lessons and giving exams in the portal. Um, so, so, see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much.